Intel. It's uh, one of near 300 crore order coming in from the Tamil Nadu State Marketing Corporation. The company, which is sitting on an order book of 4,500 crores, has seen strong revenue growth, although margins are at multi-quarter lows. So to talk about this and the outlook for the business, we are joined by Sanjay Kumar, who's the chairman and managing director of the company. Thanks a lot, Mr. Sanjay Kumar, for joining in. Just looking at your numbers, uh, this order that has come in, it's uh, the first order win in this quarter so far. You had guided for around 1,500 crores worth order wins in FY24. Do you hold on to that? So let me first correct that this is, yeah, this is a big order this quarter, mm -hmm. but there were uh, other orders also we won this quarter, like uh, we won uh, Bihar State Electricity Electronic Co Development Corporation also, which was uh, around 65 crore. Then there was another one which we uh, got from uh, NIC for IBFRT for their uh, 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 connectivity and all. So we have uh, actually accrued a total uh, sum of around 288 crore of orders we have packed this, this quarter. Uh, so this is one. Uh, and uh, I would say that uh, this order... Sir, could you repeat that? Sir, could you repeat that number? What is the total order wins in the quarter? Sorry, we missed that. 488 crore got it. this quarter. Yeah, please go ahead. Yeah. Please go ahead. Yeah. And this order being very special for us because all the states are now uh, 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 getting this kind of uh, e-governance applications implemented uh, in their states uh, for basically uh, control on the movement of liquor. And uh, in Tamil Nadu, this has been, uh, this is very important for us because then based on this experience, we can uh, get few more orders in, in future as well. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, are you on track, sir, to achieve these telecom services revenue guidance? I think you had given off around 13 to 1400 crores uh, yes. for FY24 and also projects revenue of close to around 1500 crores. Is that still on? Do you want to reiterate that guidance or revise it upwards? Yes, yes, yes. 1300 uh, minimum, uh, we should be able to achieve in telcos and uh, close to 1500 uh, in, from projects. That is, that is, we are on track. All right. And uh, do we see margins improving? I mean, the last quarter, margins were, uh, you know, impacted severely. A uh, lot of it was also on account of one-offs. But where do we see margins settling in both your segments? So uh, if we talk of projects business, uh, we will be hovering around 5 to 6 percent of margin uh, 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 should be. Uh, maybe if it be approved, uh, improve also. But... Uh, I would say, again, I've been saying this uh, uh, repeatedly that margins per se in terms of percentage uh, uh, may not be visible uh, so uh, exceptionally well. But if you uh, uh, look at the absolute growth in uh, EBITDA or EBIT numbers or in PAT numbers, we are expecting that we will certainly bring uh, value to the uh, shareholders. So, in comparison to last year, what will the absolute EBITDA growth be then? We should uh, have around 20% uh, of EBITDA growth. And this is on revenue growth of uh, what, sir? Say uh, about 25%. 25% revenue growth and 20% okay. EBITDA growth. So, we could we see doing. some... Okay, so we could see some sort of margin compression, but nevertheless, 20% is what we take on board. I remember you were having this conversation with the government with regards to the royalty that you pay on the orders that you win from railways. Has there been any, um, you know, outcome of that so far? See, the, these, these things will take time. See, because okay. uh, 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 railways, uh, we, we, our right-of-way along the railways is not the only one asset or only the one... Uh, privilege we are getting there are other privileges also we get so uh, this will take some time still still not yet finalized okay all right uh, what about the pipeline uh, have you participated in uh, other uh, tenders both in telecom and non telecom and if you could give us a rough quantum of uh, you know what all are you gunning for see uh, we cannot share the tenders specifically uh, where we are participating or where the uh, the uh, bits are in pipeline, but yes, we uh, the pipeline 
bids and pipeline would be around 1000 crore and uh, we 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 will be uh, trying to win or lose means to win hmm. two of them uh, depending upon the factors like last mile connectivity then margins volume of the uh, of 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 the bid bid value basically uh, so we are we are sure that this year uh, we will be uh, we should be having around uh, 1500 or so numbers as new uh, orders okay 1500 crores as new orders and finally from a strategy standpoint you know what do you think this ratio between telecom and projects would be going forward and as a proportion of revenue for indian railways which is currently around 13 14% where do you think this will settle uh i think uh, this should be somewhere around this number only because uh, revenue from other sectors is increasing so certainly this number in terms of percentage will is not likely to grow okay thanks a lot mr kumar for joining in and giving us those details 25% revenue growth 20% ebitda margin growth confident of getting 1500 crore worth orders this year and confident of clocking 1400 to 1500 crore revenue in your telecom business as well with no further decline or no further increase in uh, revenue coming in from the railways in terms of an overall contribution because other sectors doing well for you as well take a short break come back